Good morning, winter blast up to two inches of snow expected. Delmarva Connection is tracking the latest. Deadly motel fire. A motel in Delaware ignites in flames, killing one person. We'll have the latest from Kent County. And Robin's return. ABC's Robin Roberts will soon return to Good Morning America after a bone marrow transplant. Delmarva Connection's Mark Heideman has her story. It's Sunday, February 17th, 2013. This is Delmarva Connection This Morning. All right, good morning to you. I'm Hunter Little Page. Welcome to Delmarva Connection This Morning on this Sunday. Delmarva Connection has winter blast coverage. Our predictions at 1 to 2 inches of snow for central portions of Delmarva and a light dusting elsewhere. A winter weather advisory was in effect throughout the night across the peninsula. Delaware officials say a fire broke out around this time on Saturday at Super Lodge Motel on Route 13 in Dover. One person has been confirmed dead. The City of Dover Fire Marshal's Office continues to investigate this incident in Kent County, Delaware. Yesterday was February 16, 2013, or 21613. That matches the zip code of Cambridge. So Cambridge Town officials declared Saturday Zip Code Day, allowing residents to take part in this community photo that will later appear on a postcard. Today's date, 21713, matches the zip code of Boonesboro, Maryland. You've probably never heard of it. It's located in Washington County on the western shore. All right, time for a check at your forecast. Here's what you can expect this morning. And that's your latest weather. Well, now it's time for the fun part of the show where we bring you everything Delmarva is talking about. And this morning we had the latest. Rapper 2 Chains was arrested in Easton on Thursday evening. It all happened on Route 50 when him and his entourage were going just a little bit over the speed limit. They were actually going 79 miles per hour in a 55 zone. After being arrested, police, Maryland State Police, found out that 2 Chains actually was in possession of marijuana and paraphernalia. And after talking with him and releasing him, they actually took a picture with him that you can see there. And now moving on, take a look at this. Con los terroristas. <laughs> Well, that's a new dance craze called the Harlem Shake, and for those of you who don't exactly know what that is, it is where, in the music video, they start playing the song Harlem Shake, which is actually now number two on iTunes. One person in the video starts dancing as everyone else just goes on with their normal lives. And then when the beat drops, everyone starts breaking out into simultaneous dancing. It's really becoming a big craze. Go on YouTube and type in Harlem, uh, Harlem Shake and you will find quite a lot of videos from NBC's Today Show to that local news station and even a military base and then that Barack Obama impersonator. It was really a lot of people getting into the Harlem Shake phenomenon. And now something that I actually got to do myself, it was the Cloud Cake. It is uh, pretty much the new version of the Twinkie. And we actually have a box of them here on set. They are from Little Debbie, and after Hostess went out of business, meaning that the Twinkie is gone, Little Debbie came out with these last month. They're pretty much the same thing. They taste the same. And uh, the only uh, problem that I have with them is uh, here's one of them there. They look exactly like a Twinkie, even packaged like one. But when you open them, they tend to fall apart right there. Uh, but it really doesn't affect the taste because they really taste just as good, if not better, than a Twinkie. Now moving on to a story we have been dying to bring to you. ABC's Robin Roberts has been on medical leave for six months for myeloplastic syndrome, 
which uh, it affects the bone marrow. She had a bone marrow transplant last year from her sister Sally Ann, and now it is just three days until Robin Roberts returns to Good Morning America. Delmarva Connection national correspondent Mark Heideman has her story. As you, many of you know, five years ago, I, I beat breast cancer, and I've always been a fighter. Now, sometimes treatment for cancer can lead to other serious medical issues and that's what I'm facing right now. It is something that is called MDS, myeloplastic syndrome, and it is a rare blood disorder that affects the bone marrow. And That was ABC's Robin Roberts on August 20th of last year as she announced her medical leave for a bone marrow transplant needed for myeloplastic syndrome or MDS. Nobody knew how long she'd be gone from her Good Morning America family, not even Robin. The procedure is speedy, but recovery can take months. Back in August, Robin's doctor explained to her on air what MDS is. How did this happen? People can't even say myelodysplastic syndrome, let alone understand it. And I think the, the fundamental thing is, what's bone marrow anyway? Bone marrow is the factory that makes your blood cells. And it can be damaged along the way. It can be damaged by chemotherapy that you got for something totally different. It can be damaged by radiation. Or sometimes it can be damaged by things that we don't know what they are. We don't understand. If Robin returned to work too prematurely, she could risk being exposed to viruses her body has to rebuild an immunity to. When in need of a bone marrow transplant, some are on the waiting list for months. Robin was lucky. Her sister, Sally Ann Roberts, a news anchor at WWL-TV in New Orleans, was a perfect match. And now, Robin's return is just three days away on Wednesday, February 20th. ABC has been building up anticipation for the big day. Welcome back, girlfriend. Hey. Welcome, back. Hey. Welcome back, Robin. Hey, Robin. Welcome back. Welcome, Welcome back, back, Robin. Robin expressed her gratitude to those who have filled in for her over the past six months, spanning from Oprah Winfrey to Jessica Simpson, Kelly Ripa to Ann Romney. But Robin gives most credit to Amy Robach and Elizabeth Vargas, who have been her main I, substitutes. There are so many emotions, Elizabeth, and thank you. Thank Amy. I thank Amy, all the talented, funny guest hosts that we have had. You've, uh, and you've been a joy to watch, and I appreciate what you have done and what everybody has done sitting in that chair. I can't, well, can't thank you honor. enough. But it's yes, been an I, honor to keep it warm oh, for you. No. So when Wednesday rolls around, Robin's back with her GMA family of George, Sam, Josh, and Lara. Good Morning America airs from 7 to 9 a.m. on ABC. Mark Heideman, Delmarva Connection. All right, thank you for joining us so much this morning on Delmarva Connection this morning. We'll be back later for more. And don't forget to have, find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Have a great day. This is Delmarva Connection This Morning.